is not fair to me and it's definitely not fair to Paige. I've never, never felt this way for anyone. <laughs> welcome back to romance review tv with lady t and i have another recap video for you guys love island uk season 8 episode number 37 and this one was an emotional one because we saw Jax made the decision to leave the villa after everything kind of initially started with adam collard coming in and we're going to unpack all of this but before we do please take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and also don't forget to like and share so without further ado let's talk about this episode so as we remember from episode 36 there was one couple destined to go home and that couple was Jay and China. So they were sent home and as they were going out the door, Adam was coming in the door. The infamous Adam Collard from four years ago on Love Island from that particular season. He had a conversation with Gemma as we saw and of course Luca wasn't happy to see that. However, in this episode at the beginning, what we did see is that the boys seemed to kind of welcome him as he continued to get close to Paige. So it was somewhat surprisingly that they welcomed him, you know, after, you know, they came back from the R&R &R retreat. Now, instead of any kickoffs yet, the boys did speak with Adam and told him to get to know the girls, although their true feelings were probably being hidden at this point and once again we did see adam make a beeline for Paige, you know because he already had his first chat right after he came in on the previous episode and you know it seems like from here this is where you know she he's trying to gauge where she is and how she stands with jackson he's really trying to get his bid in and it seems like Paige is trying to move slow with this even though i really truly think at this point she did have an interest in adam too and you know honestly do i think they have a little chemistry i'm not sh i'm not there yet and then we also saw jocks telling dami and luca that he was fine with him getting to know her but he did hint that he wasn't actually happy after signaling that he could play her at the same game so let's talk about this reuniting of tasha and andrew so they've had this whole week of will they won't they and Tasha and Andrew have finally, it seems, reconciled after that whole crazy Casa Amor week. Now, Tasha put Billy on the back burner. And in this episode, she fully got back together with Andrew. So we saw the conversation on the rooftop terrace. And, uh, you know, after them bonding for a minute and shared some sweet words, we finally see them kissing. Now, although, I don't know, it might not be as clear cut as Andrew thinks because remember, Tasha is still sharing a bed with Billy and there's some shenanigans that's gonna happen at bedtime. So I'm gonna break that down for you when we get to that point. So stay tuned. And actually, all that I can say at this point is, poor Andrew. I, do you? Maybe he do know what he's getting into. But hey, at this point, it's on him. So, Jocks now gets a little bit triggered at some comments that Adam made. So, uh, Jocks' uh, level-headed assessment of Adam was uh, very short-lived after Gemma 
told him that uh, Adam had spoken badly about him to Paige while he was outside of the villa. And I don't know if you guys remember, but in the previous episode, Adam was seen telling Paige that he was more mature than Jock's and has grown up since his last stint in the villa. Now, that whole conversation between Jox and Gemma and the other Islanders t- turned sour real quick. Really quick. And Jox immediately pulled Paige, who was in the middle of a conversation speaking to Billy on the daybed. Tensions were high, especially when he told Billy to F off. Billy did take, you know, the comment well. He did stay calm in the situation. But he did walk away for the two of them to speak. Now, after that, Paige tried to calm this whole situation down by telling Jocks that it wasn't as bad as was made out and that the comments wouldn't make a difference anyway. Um, so Jocks appeared to kind of calm down, but not for long as we see this is where Adam and um, Jax came together for a chat. And the crazy thing is that Adam seemed none the wiser of what Jax had been told. Although Jax met him with a very, very cold, ice cold reception. But according to Adam, he's like, you know what? I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. And it is what it is. And the boys got to deal with it. So then Adam is given a heads up by Luca. So later on that evening, Luca took Adam aside and gave him a warning that some of the boys were feeling a little bit uncomfortable with the way he has been going on about how he's getting to know these girls. Now, Luca also tried to explain that Jax was in a tricky headspace after only just reconciling with Paige while Adam told, you know, Luca that he was only being honest when asked by the girls. Meanwhile, Paige pulled Jax up on his reaction to the situation as she asked, why are you so upset, especially with his behavior and at this point, you know, causing such an issue? And I mean, the whole conversation, you know, uh, once they got past this point, it did extend over to bedtime because Although before bed, the two of them shared some sweet words, Jax was seen telling Paige that night that seeing her crack on with Adam will absolutely break him. So, yeah, he is struggling. On the flip side, in the middle of all that going on, we got, while Andrew is outside, Billy is listening to Tasha crying. And she's talking about she don't know if she's missing out on a lot by not pursuing Billy. And I'm like, oh my God, here we go again. That girl, somebody come get her. Because this roller coaster, and it's not being fair to Billy or Andrew. If you don't know what you want, you don't know what you want. But we do see Jocks really struggling here. I know we, uh, I did a video earlier about him leaving and how, you know, he is struggling from what I understand, ADHD. So I don't know if this is something that started to begin to trigger a crisis at this point, but you can tell that he is truly, truly not himself at this point, you know, and I was wondering how the show was going to handle all of this. And we'll talk about that later on. So Jax did wake up with a clear head during, you know, their whole daily morning conferences between the girls group and the guys group. You know, Jax told the boys that he regretted how he spoke to Paige and reacted to her explaining that, you know, she didn't like his behavior the night before. He also added that he never cared about a girl the way that he cared about Paige and said that his instinct is to run before he gets hurt by the situation. So, you know, at this point, I think, you know, produ- production team realized what was going on, especially with everything coming out on social media from his family. So I think they, you know, like I said, I'll talk more about that at the end. So now let's on a different note, we got this double date for Tasha and in India. Tasha and in India were treated to a surprise uh, day bed breakfast by Andrew and Dami. So 
the two of them were hoping to get back in good graces with an invite back into the bedroom as the two of them of course have been sleeping on the day bed since Casa Moore. So it seems like after everything was set up and they got to see everything, the girls look very charmed and very happy by their gestures. So who knows? A bedroom reunion could most definitely be in the cards and on the horizon for both Andrew and, of course, Dami. Now, Andrew, I'm going to put a question mark or an asterisk next, next to him because you just never know day by day where Tasha's head is going to be. But as for India and Dami, I could see them pretty much. They're pretty much good. They're solid. Andrew, I feel sorry for you. I'm sorry, but you know what? You chose this, and you want the girl, so you got to go with what comes with this. So then Paige now voices doubts over Jocks. Um, she, she was speaking to India on the roof terrace. Uh, Paige opened up about her feelings for Jocks in that moment. She told India that she really liked and cared for Jocks, but that his behavior in the, pair, in the past few weeks have left her questioning their relationship. And she then told, you know, um, in her confessional, you know, and I like the relationship that the girls have. That they really can trust each other. I know we really haven't seen a lot of backbiting or, you know, stuff this season um, with the girls. So it's good that they're, you know, working together to be a confidant. But she did say in her confessional in the beach hut, you know, something similar, saying that although she has a good thing with, and a good time with Jocks, she isn't 100% in it after all of his outbursts. So then Jocks decided to take Paige to the rooftop and begin the conversation. Um, he had a very, very emotional admission that she meant a lot to him. He then explained that he took the decision to officially leave the villa, villa without her. And she said that, you know, um, he, she needed to do what she had to do. Now, Paige objected, but despite her objections to his idea, Jock's mind was made up saying that he needed to find himself once again. And, um, you know, it was so emotional. Oh, my God. I couldn't hold it together myself. You know, when I see people in genuine and emotional state, and especially in this situation, and I got a pretty good idea why he's doing this. You know, it's, it's just so unfortunate, but you have to to do what's best for you your health mental health physical health is wealth you got to take care of yourself and be good for you and people around you so he went downstairs to tell the other islanders with his fellow contestants and of course they were heartbroken and i mean it was just the fact that you know he did his whole spiel and it was sad so take a look I feel like lately, I just, I just can't be myself. So I'm trying my best, I'm, but I'm not a fake person. I'm not going to start faking things and, and act like I'm okay when, when things inside aren't actually not okay. So I'm, uh, I'm going to be leaving today. Oh. So it's, it's not fair to me and it's definitely not fair to Paige. And you know, for me and Paige to work, I need to be at my best. And if that means removing myself from the situation and, and waiting for Paige when she gets out, that, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so I'm going to be leaving now. So, yeah, so it was so sad to watch um, Jax vow to stick by Paige and wait for her at the airport when she gets out. But for now, as we see, Paige is staying in the villa to continue her own separate journey and you know i mean when you know especially you know one thing i always talk about on this channel if you're new here here's welcome i always talk about mental health is very important i don't care if you can't get into an actual physician there are so many virtual apps that you can use betterhelp.com is one of them i'm not sponsored by them but i always recommend this and it, he realized that he's not himself. He realized that something is happening within him and is best for himself, best for Paige, and even the other Islanders around him 
that he needs to remove himself from the situation in order for him to be the best version of himself and, you know, and to get back on to, you know, where he was, you know, because I mean, when you have something like that as an ADHD and ADD, there are triggers and being on a reality TV show is not easy. It's many, many hours of filming when we only get to see snippets within a 45 to 50 minute period, you know? So I got to say this in regards to the show, because what we saw in the preview from episode 36 for episode 37, we saw this tumultual upheaval, this screaming, this yelling, and they could seem like they cut all of that out because we didn't get to see any of that in this episode. And, you know, I mean, honestly, some of these sleazy reality TV shows could have used that for drama. And I mean, you know, what, especially Mavs Australia, we know all of the toxicity that the production team used for this previous season nine. But I'm glad that they did not use this to their advantage and exploit what he's going through in regards to, you know, this situation. So I got to give them kudos for that. A lot of times the cameras are right in front of people's faces with the meltdowns. Then the whole world is overly critical about everything. And then when they come out, they're being drugged through social media. So I'm glad that they actually revamped this episode, cut what they were going to show versus, you know, what we actually did get to see and him prioritizing his mental health and they prioritize it as well. So, um, I gotta give them kudos for that. You know, I usually have a lot of crazy things to say about reality TV, but that right there, they did a good job with that. So I must say, so that is the end of the recap. They did not give us a preview for episode 38, probably because they had to re-edit everything for him to transition out of the show in a very diplomatic way. So until the next video, please don't forget to take a moment to make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also, please don't forget to like and share and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.